so to go back the, to, to LHC, um, we have the Higgs particle, as you said. Um, we had expected, I would say most particle physicists expected there would be other particles discovered. There's a particular In theory. In that same experiment. Yeah, at, at oh. LHC. So there's a particular theory, which, which motivated by string theory a long time ago, called supersymmetry, which is a, a property of the universe. We, we, we're it's sure. been around for many decades. Yeah, and it, and it came initially from either from string theory or from some other physics and got incorporated in. I can't remember historically which way it came, but it's, um, but it's, it, it essentially predicts that there are double the number of particles that we see fundamental particles at this energy. So, so we, uh, and they would have been great candidates for dark matter, by the way, which is an astrophysical discovery point mm -hmm. about gravity. Here's a calculation I haven't verified, but it sounded legit. Uh, <laughs> very verifiable. Yeah. I just never, I was too lazy that, uh, if you take, like the space shuttle in its glory days, and you take one, remove the electrons from one cubic centimeter in the nose of the main tank, and take all those electrons and put it at the base of the launch pad, it could, would not be able to launch. The attraction between the electrons at the base of the launch pad See. and the net positive charge yeah, at the top right, yeah, is yeah. enough to prevent it from launching. Yeah. That's a cool idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, cool. 